Hello everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. I have received a few messages from my last video about how can I clean up an image and separate the, f the colors from the file when it comes all in as one. So, it got me thinking, do you really have an SVG file or not? So let's take a look at a couple different ways that you can actually separate colors from an actual image. So first of all, as you can see, here on the internet, you can see that this file right here says that it is an SVG file. It also says it's free. This is why I'm going to test with this one. So I downloaded this to my computer to show you how you can tell if you've actually gotten a real SUV file, SVG file. So I'm going to upload that image into the design space. But first, if you notice, it doesn't say that it is an SVG. It says it is a JPEG. But we're going to load it up in here anyway because I'm going to show you that you can separate the colors a couple different ways. It takes a little bit of time and patience. Now, as you can see, if I actually take this file and I go one step further, and you can see that you can do a print and cut and get all the separate colors, but you would have to send this to your printer and then cut it out through your, your Cricut or whatever die cutting machine you have. Or you can do just a cut file, but then they're all the same color and it's all one image. So it's kind of a little crazy. So as you can see, this particular a JPEG has no background, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. We don't have to dis to erase the background. It's already done for me. So here we're just going to clean up and erase just part of the image. So we're going to keep one color. And we're going to erase all of the other colors. So you're going to use the erase tool or you can use the little wand and click on each color to delete each color separately. Then you're going to hit continue just to check to see if you've missed anything and I've missed a spot so I'm going to go back and I'm going to use my little eraser. Now you can make the eraser any size that you want. I'm going to double check to see if I got it and I do. So now you can save it as a printing cut or a cut file. I want to say this one is a cut file and I'm going to show you what you could do if you save it either way. It doesn't matter. We can still do this. You can name this as part of your image if you want, or not name it at all. It doesn't matter. So once you have it into your images, you're going to upload the image again. Once you have uploaded the image again, this time you're going to take out a different color. So again you can use the wand or you can use the eraser. Now in this case some images may not completely erase by using the wand. Now here you can also, here we have two different colors. I could leave them the same. I could separate them. It doesn't matter but you know what? To save time I'm going to dump these in both as the same color. And I'm going to use the erase tool to erase the outline of those flowers because they were actually two different colors in those flowers. I just couldn't tell that. I'm going to just erase them because we're going to make it one solid color. And then we're going to hit continue to see if we missed anything. And we missed a few, so we're going to go back and we're going to get those few. It's always good to use the erase tool and zoom in on the image to make sure that you got it all. Some images are not clear enough to do this with. So you may get an image that just has way too many colors um, to do this type of uh, uh, separation. So those are the ones you want to avoid. Now if you purchase an SVG file from a company, 
make sure that it is truly an SVG file and they are layered. So um, you want to kind of make sure that those words are in the description. If not, contact the, the owner of the image and ask them, is it a layered SVG file or is it a flat SVG file? Because really they're flat SVG files. It's just a JPEG without a background. Then I'm going to go again, drop in the image, and now I'm going to work on my third color. We are going to click on and remove everything but the uh, green leaves. And again, I have to use my erase tool to get all of the little pieces that it missed. So you use the tool that you find easiest to use. Um, those who have a little bit of arthritis in their hands like I do, sometimes this erase tool can be a little pain in the neck or in my case in my hands. So I do like to try the wand tool first to see if it will take out what I need it to take out and then if it doesn't then I'll go back in with the eraser. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm going to save this file. Now, if you've noticed, I've saved a few as a printed cut and a few as a cut because I'm going to show you how you can incorporate either or. So now I have to go in one more time. Sorry that I'm kind of boring you with this part of it, but this is the way that you would have to do it if you've gotten a what I call a flat. SVG file or JPEG without a background. And this way is a pretty easy way if you can maneuver the erase tool pretty good. You could just swipe all the way down and erase everything but our last image up there, which is the, I guess that's the tray for the flower pot, I think. Okay. See if we got it all. And looks good. Nope, no, nope, I missed something. Nope, there it is. Now I'm going to continue and save it. And like I said, you can name this or not name it. I think once you have it into your project and you saved your project, you don't even need these pieces of images anymore. You can delete them from your library because they are useless without each other, kind of. So now, as you can see, they're all dropped in here as separate colors. So here you can change the, go into a into each individual color and change it to a cut file. You want to make sure each is changed to a cut file or if it wasn't a cut file and then you can change the, to whatever color you want it to be and basically it would be whatever color paper you have. You're never going to find the exact color that you want on this because they don't have every color under the sun. So you're going to do this with each and every one. So whether it is you drop it in as a cut file or you drop it in as a print and cut, you can still do the same thing and change the colors. Now I'm just going to kind of arrange this just kind of the way the image was dropped into Design Space originally. And then I'm going to show you that if I drop in the image as a whole, everything together and I just continue and save this as a print and cut file. It's going to drop it into my project all together. There you go. So it looks just the same. I made the colors look slightly different and like I said these colors are not going to be the exact same unless you actually do a print and cut. So I can go in and I can try to make those little pinky ones look a little more purple. Uh, it doesn't look like I have that same color purple, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be cutting it out on whatever color cardstock I have. 
instead of a print and cut. If I want that exact color, I could do a print and cut. That's the beauty about having print and cut feature with the Cricut. Now, as you can see, the print and cut will cut that file all the same. And if you were to do these individuals, it will cut them out separately. Now I'm going to show you a second way to do to separate the colors. You choose which way you'd like better. Try both of them. See which one you're more comfortable with. Okay, you're going to go in and you're going to drop in that print and cut file one more time. And here you're going to see it is a print and cut file and you're going to change it to just a cut file. Then you're going to go in, oh, made a mistake, got to go back out. Go into shapes. I'm just going to drop down a few shapes. You could use whatever shape you're more comfortable with. Some of these images might be harder to cut, uh, slice out than other images. So I'm just going to show you that you could take your a shape and then cut it out of the complete image or slice it is the appropriate word. See, as you can see, you end up with two, but you only need one. Delete them. Then you get the next shape and cut it out of the image again. And put the sliced image aside and delete everything else. Now you're getting into a little bit more of a tricky area to where it's kind of hard to get a shape in there without cutting into another shape. So let's see. You can probably get these four in here. Let's stretch this square out down to make it a rectangle. and We can cut those four out at once. You can cut them out individually if you would like. Um, if you want each and every flower separately, you can do that. If you want them all together, you can do it the way I'm doing it. Like I said, now when you are working with um, a file that takes a little bit of time to do, you might want to save as you're going along. I did not do that here, but I've noticed a few times I have lost my internet or lost something to where I've lost my project. So I would suggest to save the project as you're going along. Now here you see I am kind of maneuvering my shape a little bit different so it can get in and around those flowers without cutting into the other flowers. However, there is a time where you're going to come into an image where there isn't any way, shape, or form you're going to be able to get a shape to cut around the image. Now here you're going to notice my program goes a little wonky. I can't get that shape to go where I want it to go. <laughs> that kind of flipped all on its own. I don't know if you have that happen with you on your program. So what here I'll do is I'll just duplicate it. No worries. And I will slice out here, though I've made a mistake. If you make a mistake, you can always hit the back button and redo it. Here again, my shape's going to go a little weird on me. And that's what happens when you move, when you turn a shape, and then you try to stretch it. So you want to try to stretch it first and then turn the shape. I find it easier to do it that way. So here I'm just cutting anywhere in the shape. It doesn't matter where. And then I'm going to... Try to cut out a little bit more of that flower. And now that I'm looking back here, I could probably have used a different shape and I would have been able to do that in one step versus multiple steps here. So it's always a practice. Um, whether you practice with different shapes. And like I said, your image is going to be different every time. Now I'm just going to use circles. This makes it a little bit easier. And I probably could have used circles the first time and I would have got it all in one. Maybe. And then sometimes I will just move the shape over to save time. 
And then once I have the shape that I want, delete everything that I don't need all at once. Now I'm bringing up the duplicated one, so now I can take out the flowers. And we're going to do it the same way. I'm going to go over part of the leaves so I can slice those out. Get rid of those, bring that back up, and pull in another shape. And here's where this circle will not quite go around that flower the way I want it to. So let's see if I stretch the circle and make it a oval. Maybe I can get it around. And it's just a matter, like I said, of just playing with it. I can't quite get it without slicing the flower, so I'm going to just slice it the way it is. Move the flower out of the way. Move those little pieces out of the way. I'm going to take that same rectangle and bring it back in to slice out that little tiny piece of the leaf that's left. And there you go. Then you would just go in like you did, like I had showed you before, change these colors to whatever color you want them to be. And there you have it. It is always important, like I said, to make sure that wherever you're getting your SVG file from, that it is truly an SVG file. However, I like to always search for free items on the internet, and this is one way to clean up some free items that you may find. Just make sure you have permission to use them from whoever has them up on the internet. Okay, and here you go. I'm just changing the colors. And I probably should have uh, separated all those flowers and they would have been, you could, you know, design a card the way you want or whatever. But when you cut them out, they're going to be cut out separately anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Save yourself some time, save yourself some steps. Do it the easiest and quickest way you could possibly do it. Don't forget to save your project. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it and don't forget to subscribe.